Hi, my name is Daniel. And my name is Noman. And our project is a smart board replacer. Um, so as you can see by our circuit here, uh, we have an IR camera right here that looks at a sensor on the human. And what it does is it detects where you are located in space and sends that information through an I2C connection here to the microcontroller there. And what it does is the microcontroller will process that data and using this USB connection to the PC, it will send that to MATLAB which will uh, process all the data and show it on the screen over here. Okay, so, but there's also an RF link here. So also, here is the remote that's actually going to be held by the user. Okay. So here are the IR sources that this camera detects. Uh -huh. And these are some buttons, for example, the right mouse, left click mouse button, and any other options oh, that see. the remote needs. And this transmitter is, sends this control data to the microcontroller using this little receiver. receiver over here. Got it. Okay. So let's see it in action. So this is the regular mode. And as a statement, we have two modes, and this is what we call whiteboard mode. So this is what you would consider as just using a regular uh, mouse movement and scrolling. I see. So you're, so you're now scrolling, you're using this as a regular uh, mm -hmm. Windows mouse here. Yes. Yeah, our idea was that if a lecturer was trying to present something on a window a remote viewing distance, you would, could just do this manually. And if you could do scrolling, Nomen. Here I is see. the scrolling. So there's an extra button for a scrolling feature. Uh huh. So turn this on. And now if you go above, it will start scrolling up. Uh huh. And if you go down, if you go stay down, it scrolls it down. It scrolls down until you stay in the, come in the middle. And so we tried to uh -huh. put in a pause to allow the human to react to how fast it's scrolling. Mm -hmm. And there's also right click, left click, and and, and so the second mode, which we'll is demo the now, blackboard mode. So what does? So this is uh, when you turn on the button, it automatically opens Paint for you. Okay. And now so you. So this is assuming that a person has this on uh, wrapped around their wrist. So when you're using a chalk. Uh, you're writing something on the blackboard. And I'll trace your movements. Mm. Gotcha. So, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, it's kind of hard to move this guy around, but. Well, it turns out that writing on a blackboard is not easy either, it <laughs> takes practice. But that's working pretty re... And then if, no, I mean you want to save on this? So here, you can save this. Just click this button. Automatically writes a picture, saves, everything's done. And so we have actually 100 saveable um, images because we go from 00 to 99. Okay, let me, let me step back a row here so I can get back a little bit further and, and watch you do this again. Get, so, the, get the picture open so I can see the whole setup here. So we have the receiver head, you have the... So Go back on the whiteboard mode. Go to whiteboard mode. Uh, yeah, got it. So let's open things I should know. Things I should know. <laughs> just look through this. I see. So that's the up down mode. Scroll mode. Turn off scrolling. Get something else. Why is the sky insert color here? Uh huh. Why is it? <laughs> so this is the whiteboard mode. So this is assuming that you're using, you're just controlling, uh, you're making basically the projector into a touch screen. Uh, right. Almost like a touch screen. Right. Type. Okay. And so and again, this goes black mode. Go. I can't see this. <laughs> oh. Automatically opens paint. Auto opens paint. And, and then now you just you just kind of write. So. <laughs> it's kind of harder in the air. Assuming we have something, because we're assuming there's a blackboard, so it would be much more controlled uh, movements. Right, right. As you can see, it's pretty accurate in like, you know, it's continuous, we've optimized it such that you don't 
if even if the the uh, camera loses the mesh point of uh, the source for like a millisecond or so, it doesn't go off on the screen. I, it stays consistent. Well, I'm I'm impressed by both the consistency and the smoothness. Right. It doesn't. I, I, and, and the and the lack of lag, it's quite fast, it's quite responsive. Yeah, it took some trial and error because we originally had um, noticeable pauses so we can definitely track our own movements. Right. And as we did that, we slowly started taking away to see what the limit was and we just tried to calculate maybe how fast the microcontroller is and tried to also, stay Also, one more thing is, here's the viewing angle, so I'm holding it here, mm -hmm. and I draw a line, and it goes this much. So the all oh, distance good. Dim, but as you can see, if I go farther... Well, you'll have a bigger range. Right. right. So now, if you're right up against the board... I don't know what the mouse is. You got lost, yeah. <laughs> so you have to make sure that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...the head doesn't come in the way, but as long as that... So that's like a view of, like, about the my attention. arm's length. That's right, which is about right for the screen. Right. right. Okay. So depending on where you are, it, it inter interpolates. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you.